This video shows how to fix your HP LaserJet MFP M225DN or M226DN printer when a paper jam error message displays on the printer control panel. If a paper jam message appears on the printer control panel, follow these steps to check the printer for paper jams. Turning the printer off and then on again can clear a false paper jam message. Press the power button to turn off the printer. If the printer does not turn off, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer and wait 60 seconds. Reconnect the power cord to the printer. Then press the power button to turn the printer back on. Print a supply status report to make sure that the printer hardware functions correctly. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load the paper into the input tray. Slide the paper width and length guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Press the Setup button. Then press the right arrow button to scroll to Reports. Press the OK button. Press the right arrow button to scroll to Supply Status. Then press the OK button. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. Clear any jammed paper in the Automatic Document Feeder, or ADF. Remove any loose paper from the ADF input tray. Use both hands to slowly pull out the jammed paper in the ADF input tray. Lift the ADF input tray. Place your thumb under the tab on the end of the jam access cover, then lift the cover. With both hands, gently pull out any jammed paper in the ADF. Close the jam access cover. Then close the ADF input tray. To clear a paper jam in the cartridge area, follow these steps. With the printer turned on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. To avoid risk of injuries or electric shock, you must disconnect the power cord before you reach inside the printer. First, lift the scanner assembly. Then open the top cover. Carefully lift the toner cartridge out of the printer and set it aside. Remove any jammed paper from the cartridge area. Use both hands to avoid tearing the paper. Align the toner cartridge with the tracks inside the printer. Then, slide the cartridge into place. Close the top cover. Then, lower the scanner assembly. Plug the power cord back into the printer. To clear a paper jam in the output bin, follow these steps. With the printer turned on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. To avoid risk of injuries or electric shock, you must disconnect the power cord before you reach inside the printer. First, lift the scanner assembly. Then, open the top cover. Pull out the green tab to release the jam access cover. Using both hands, carefully pull out any jammed paper. Check the rollers and wheels and remove any torn pieces of paper. Close the jam access cover. Close the top cover. Then lower the scanner assembly. Plug the power cord back into the printer. To clear a paper jam in the duplex area, follow these steps. 
Disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. To avoid risk of injuries or electric shock, you must disconnect the power cord before you reach inside the printer. Open the access door on the back of the printer. Using both hands, remove any jammed paper in the back of the printer. Close the access door. Plug the power cord back into the printer. Reset the printer to clear a paper jam error message when there is no jammed paper in the printer. First, press the power button to turn on the printer. Wait until the printer has completed startup before continuing. With the printer turned on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord from the wall outlet. Wait at least 60 seconds. Plug the power cord back into the wall outlet. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Wait until the printer has completed startup before continuing. Print a supply status report to make sure the printer hardware functions correctly. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load the paper into the input tray. Slide the paper width and length guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Press the Setup button. Then press the right arrow button to scroll to Reports. Press the OK button. Press the right arrow button to scroll to Supply Status. Then press the OK button. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. If you have completed all the steps and are still experiencing issues, the printer might need to be serviced. Your options for service might vary depending on how long you have owned the printer and what country you live in. Contact HP to find out the support options for your printer. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash hp printer support.